We've got some clarity on those city elections in Corinth. A big change is coming to the top job at City Hall, but at least one other race still hangs in the balance. WTVA's Keandra Malloy is live in Corinth with an update on the vote count. They counted nearly 50 Republican affidavit, affidavit ballots this afternoon, and it's official. The police chief, Ralph Dance, will be the city's new mayor. Now, here's the latest results that we have. Dance defeated current mayor Tommy Irvin, Irwin with, by 36 votes, and we caught up with the mayor-elect to see what his plans are when he takes this new job. Ralph Dance has been in law enforcement for 30 years. He says there are several things he wants to address when he's officially in the seat. That includes higher salaries for city employees and cleanliness in Corinth. I made the decision early on that we needed to make a change in, in that direction. So um, after knowing I was retiring from the police department, I thought, hey, why don't I run for mayor? where I can work for our city employees. Creating businesses and infrastructure is another topic he wants to touch on. Kind of out of my realm of expertise, but uh, I'm looking forward for the challenge. Uh, I, I've never backed down from a challenge, and I look forward to looking at this one right in the eye and, and running forward with it. So we know now how the mayor's race turned out. We still don't know how the Republican primary for the alderman at large turned out. Now, as you can see, the race between incumbent Mike Hopkins and David Curie is tied with each candidate holding 1,099 votes. Now, city clerk Brandy Smith says there is one mail-in ballot that can't be opened until next Tuesday at 5 p.m. Now, state law says requires more time for more ballots, to, more mail-in ballots to be turned in until that time. Live in Corinth, Keandra Malloy, WTVA 9 News.